12, they say. <laughs> I really like the new patch. Big fan. I've never been a patch hater, I think. You know, especially with things that are like reasonable, which this patch was extremely reasonable. Um, I'm a big fan. I really enjoyed playing on it. I really liked, I really felt like DK was made more reasonable and still is insanely strong, which, you know, I still felt like half the things I did were the most insane thing ever. So I'm not mad. And then DDD is a little less, you know, weak and then his bad matchups are better. That's a good, good, good ass thing. I still think like, I don't like what DDD has to do in certain matchups, so he, he's probably still gonna be, I'm, I'm definitely dual meaning. I think I'm like, I don't feel like I, I have to commit completely to DK, but um, I will probably dual main because I think DDD can do it in the matchups that, basically there was like four matchups where I was like, Lucario, Sonic, Ices, and ZSS. I mean, ZSS was like, uh, you know, probably like the most reasonable of all of them, but it was like all of them were kind of like, man, if you hit those characters, you were just like, I hate it. So, uh, now I don't feel like DDD feels that way anymore. So, very viable, I feel like. I mean, he was already viable, but it just makes it a little more easy to play. Anyhow, um, let's get back to this thing. Sorry that I'm talking about my characters. Nobody cares. Jackie is insane. Man, it's crazy how little I know about pitch pit nowadays. I, the only pit I ever, I guess I did watch was so said Gallo, but that was like not P plus pit from my memory. Or if it was like really early P plus, P plus pit. Yeah, how good is Jackie, Joey? Like, actually, I mean, obviously, like, I think Jackie is the craziest Ganon ever, but like, I don't know, like, the record. Oh my god, up tilt. I can't believe I'm really experiencing the grand finals. 1 a.m. TPS. <laughs> it's 2 o'clock on the East Coast. We used to watch these and be like, how is, how? How do they, how does everyone do it? Nobody is like, let's split. <laughs> They're all just like, let's just do it. And I am part of this narrative now. All right, I, I don't know. Pretty difficult situation, Chris. But Zoe didn't, wasn't, went for the pivot. Whoa, that was so fast and cool and safe. Wow, that's crazy that I can do that. And I would have never thought to do a cross up behind the shield like that. Mostly because I don't play a character like that. All right. Let's see now if we can get the edge guard. Oh, the sour spot, the not grabbing the leg, but giving Chris an opportunity to do some crazy combo. Why do I feel like Chris is ready to do the most insane combo ever now? Oh, oh, okay, it's still scrapping, which is terrible for Chris. He needs an opener if he wants to take the stock and let me go to sleep. Oh, no. All right, not an insane combo. Down throw forward air. I feel like everyone in this venue can hear me. <laughs> because that would be easy. I definitely mostly 
do not grind games as much after tournaments, but I haven't played this game like at all for like six, seven months. So I was like, I have to play some. Uh, yes, Kaizo, this is the new patch in which Pitt's arrows were nerfed a little bit. Uh, Falcon's down B landing was nerfed a little bit. Falcon's side B ledge grab box was nerfed a little bit. And there's probably some other changes to Pitt that I'm not aware of, but that's what I remember. And of course, stack stun was removed and uh, ledge jump stuff was removed. I don't think either of these characters relied on the tourney winner invulnerability as much, but I certainly think they probably cared about stack stun. Jesus, okay, I feel like Chris has tapped in on the down throw, <laughs> me now. Arrow kill. Wait, Chris has died twice? I totally missed that. I totally thought he had a bigger lead. Oh no. Joey, are you still listening to the stream? Jesus. <sighs> Feels like Chris maybe figured out the combo wave. I mean, I'm assuming this is not something he has a ton of experience with. But also, Chris's mind is a mystery to me, so I don't know how he thinks about these things at all. <laughs> he seems to both know everything and be blissfully unaware, which is a powerful combination for a competitor, I think. Okay. I honestly think of pits like forward air just looked cooler. Because it's like a sick move when you do it. I think he would have more more players. All right. Oh, no knee there. Okay, I thought there was a knee coming. It's like Clyde Fair looks so cool. Just the way you can do it. All right. 2-0 for winner side here. It's looking like I might be able to nap, but Zoe is ready for a full game 10. Trying to do a three game turnaround. Okay. Uh, Lucas's changes are that uh, one of the major ones is that the back air spike was changed a little bit. Like there's like a the hitbox in which it comes out is like a little bit later, and I think the overall frames of back airs has changed. Maybe like one less, something like that. Overall, it's prioritizing the vertical kill hitbox over the spike. And PK freeze was made easier to CC. I think it has less of a like I don't know modifier. I don't forget what the modifier is, but. Long story short, it's easier to counterplay it. And there might be something else, but those are the two that I remember. Oh, of course, multi-mag, hello. Multi-mag was made like a lot more executionally difficult, a lot harder to spam. Um, in the beginning, before this recent kind of hotfix, people were saying it was dead. I, I don't know how true that is or not, but as my understanding is it's like, it's more, po it is possible still to multi-mag if you have really strong execution, but it's obviously not as spammable. There are probably some situations where it is not literally not possible, but Jesus. Ice and fire. <laughs> okay, the get up attack was not what I was expecting. Moto, you say that like I know what a spacey multi shine is like. You think I know <laughs> these things? <laughs> Okay, yeah, that makes sense. One frame window, yeah. That's that's kind of what I heard. It was a one frame window now. Oh, the angle! So good. Verb, you're a XX fan? 
That's pretty, pretty. Okay, we got lots of XX fans in the chat. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna date myself. You want to know how old I am, guys? I remember when XX came to the arcade. Okay, <laughs> I played it at the fucking arcade. That's how I got introduced to, uh, to GG was um, Guilty Gear XX, and Slayer had a freaking fight infinite. I literally saw it come into the arcade. Um, as I did every single Marvel game, I literally saw every single every single Marvel game from X-Men all the way up to MVC2 came to my local arcade. And uh, yeah, I am a competitive fighting game player because of those things. Quiff is a deep cut. I don't think I've ever actually seen Quiff played person. I'm a Johnny. I don't like Slayer. I don't like Strive or Amethyl actually quite a bit. Mm. Oh. I always feel like something that's so interesting about this region compared to New York is like, uh, usually it's, wow, that was sick. It's pretty hard to tell, like the stability of how the matches and the games are traded is like pretty inconsistent in my experience. <laughs> like there's a lot of turnarounds. Um, and uh, so that makes uh, for a lot of really long tournaments. But I haven't really like looked at the data. Jesus, okay. Well, that's the end of that set. I guess Chris did me a favor. Sorry to jo Zoe. Congrats to O'Reilly for winning the tournament. We are going to go sleep. It is dead silent in here. One of my favorite things about the patch is that they in introduced my idea of having a flashing red light on the mine that says, you are about to walk into a mine. That was a great. <laughs> oh yeah, we me, 